Okay, so a little bit of an update before I replace all the bulging capacitors. They're not bulging massively, but I think they're bulging enough to be a problem. Um, so they're Samps or Samex on. How the hell you say that? Samson, but not Samsung, you know. Samex on capacitors. And they're a thousand UF ten volt. And there also appears to be some V6A ones, which are 105 degrees C rated. So let's see whether I think they're all pretty much the same. Uh, F8A. Oh God, I can't even see what. I think they're all 1000 UF. So what I've got as replacements is I have got these much beefier. Um, in theory, these are Rubicon, but um, yeah, there we go. Rubicon, th ooh, 35 volt, 1000 UFs. Person, actually, I don't think I bought 35 volt, but wow, that's quite a big difference. <laughs> I thought they were like 15 or 25 volt or something, but 35 is quite big, but never mind. Um, they're 1000 UF, so I believe the theory is that you can use higher volt capacitors. Um, as long as they're the right farad. Uh, so these should be okay replacements, we'll find out. I mean, all of this stuff, you've got to bear in mind, doing these things wrong or not, all of this stuff would be, oh dear, they really are quite big. This is going to be problematic. I might have to get different capacitors. These are probably not going to fucking work. Shit. I can just about get them in height-wise, but... It's the usual bloody story. There's no room on this bloody board for what they've made. They haven't even spread them out. Look, they're all clustered together real tight. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to squeeze these in. Anyway, I'm going to give it a go. We'll see what happens. In fact, God, this might be the end of the video for a little while. I think I can tell just by looking at them that these capacitor cans are not going to sit next to each other unless they're pushed massively off to the sides. So, uh, mm. And the leads on them, the ones that I've got, for some reason, aren't very big. And we don't really know what the separate distance is between them either. Maybe that's all out. God, Jesus. Such a pain. Never mind. That, that's my fault. That's not their fault, really. I mean, this is my fault for selecting slightly too overrated capacitors, really. I mean, they're good capacitors, good to have in my kit. I mean, I've got some other capacitors, but they're not 1,000 UF, so I'm going to might have to buy some different capacitors to sort this problem out finally. But I'm getting there. Um, yeah. Getting there. <laughs> Slowly. Jesus, what a pain in the ass. I mean, makes you wonder why capacitors aren't socketed, really. I mean, maybe that's just, you know, maybe it's just too fucking logical. Socketed capacitors. You know, maybe there's, there's too much sanity in that. I mean, they are basically the component that probably fails the most in devices and kills them. So from an environmental perspective, it doesn't make sense to me why capacitors aren't socketed. You know, it would just make life so much easier if there was just a... I mean, hey, I don't think the European Union makes much good le legislation, but if they made a legislation that all components in products had to be... All, all, all capacitors in products that were made were socketable and um, accessible... You know, well, in relative terms, you know, you take the back off a device and you can get at them. Then, God, I mean, imagine how many products would be saved. How much landfill would be avoided. You know, I mean, sooner or later in the future, people will have to get around to this idea of having, you know, repairable products, but um, or even user serviceable products. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. We don't seem to live in that age currently. Maybe we'll do in the future. All right, um, this is probably the end of the series of videos here, unless I suddenly conclude that these capacitors will fit. But at the moment, their height looks just about bearable, but it looks like their width is not. I could probably maybe solder bits of wire on and solder them onto wires and, oh, I don't know. But yeah, it's looking a bit messy. All right, bye.